This graph is insane. It's called the butterfly attractor, a visual used to represent chaos theory. But there's a side to the butterfly attractor that almost everybody misses that makes chaos theory weirder and more beautiful than you think. These three equations define what the butterfly attractor looks like. They're actually a simple model of the Earth's atmosphere, with three variables, x, y, and z, evolving over time. What's cool about these is that even a tiny change in the initial values of x, y, and z that you plug into the equations produce a very different end result. This is what some people people call the butterfly effect. A butterfly flaps its wings in Central Park and two weeks later, a tornado hits Texas. But people get hung up on this sensitive dependence on initial conditions, which isn't unique to this, and miss why these equations are such a big deal. The variables x, y, and z represent physical quantities in the atmosphere and can be imagined as a point in some three-dimensional space, with x, y, and z specifying the coordinates in that space. As time moves on, the atmosphere evolves, which we see as the point moving through the three-dimensional space. You can see that the atmosphere can't occupy just anywhere in this space. It's constrained to two really thin sections that look like butterfly wings. But you want to know the crazy thing? These lines never cross. It may look like they do, but that's just an artifact of projecting a three-dimensional thing into two dimensions. You can run these equations forever, and a trajectory will never cross itself. You might get very, very close, but because it's not exact, you will never be able to perfectly predict what the future looks like, because that tiny difference will eventually massively diverge, and the future will look nothing like what you have previously observed. And this is what the butterfly effect misses about chaos theory. Chaos theory is about systems that are deterministic, there's no randomness in them, have sensitive dependence on initial conditions, and are aperiodic, meaning that apart from a tiny number of edge cases, their trajectories in phase space, which is where the butterfly attractor lives, never repeat or intersect. And the atmosphere is a chaotic system, which means the exact state of the atmosphere has never, ever been repeated. Each moment is a configuration of wind and temperature and humidity that has never been exactly seen before and will never be exactly seen again. It tells us that mathematically every single moment is unique. You will never get the chance to experience the world exactly as it is right now ever again. So mathematically, you really need to enjoy every moment.